Mother's Day. I'm going to cake myself a box of chocolates. Well, technically, it's not for myself. I'm making it for my mother to thank her for being such a great mommy. Aren't you forgetting to thank someone, Yolanda? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you to Walgreens for sponsoring and collaborating on this video. Click the link below for more information on their amazing Red Nose Day campaign that's all about encouraging people to laugh and raise money for a great cause. We never laugh on this channel. Do we, Jocelyn? Never. Laughing. How do you spell? What's, what's laughing? How do you spell that? Jocelyn, you should definitely look up laughing because you have no idea what it is. To begin making this cake, I made 12 pounds of my Yo's Ultimate Chocolate Cake recipe and poured it between two 12-inch square pans. Once my cakes were baked and cooled and chilled, I removed them from their pans and that's right, I leveled them. And I did it with a ruler and a serrated knife. That's how this mama bakes. With a ruler. With a ruler. Now that my cakes are nice and flat on the top, I'm gonna cut them each into two layers. I've gotta give a shout out to Sir Squeeze a lot because he came in the kitchen, helped me sear up all four layers of my cake. I'm gonna choose the nicest layer and leave it to the side because that's gonna be the lid of my box. And now I'm gonna fill my other three layers with chocolate ganache. It's a box of chocolate. And Italian meringue buttercream that I have dyed a lovely mint green and a lovely soft pink. Colors that mothers love. Is that a fact you love? <laughs> this mother loves them. That's a fact. If you want the recipe for my Italian meringue buttercream and my chocolate ganache, all of the information is in the description below. Before you spread your buttercream on top of your ganache, you definitely want to make sure it's sort of set. So if you need to put your cake in the fridge and do that, do it. It'll make your life easier. You know what moms want? An easier life. That's a fact, Jocelyn. You know what time it is. We should have like a siren. <laughs> it should be like a disco when we say crumb coat and chill. Like a strobe light. I crumb coated my cake with ganache and put it in the fridge to chill and then I crumb coated the lid with ganache and did the same. It is a box of chocolates so I find icing with ganache makes it easier to get sharp lines and there's just more chocolate in the box of chocolates. Mama fact, your mama should have more chocolate. I'm gonna put the cake in the fridge to chill, make sure it's nice and set, and it's time to start rolling out fondant. Never done that before. Fondant? Laughter? I mean, we just keep talking about things we don't know about. I need to roll out seven slabs of fondant to cover this box of chocolate cake. All of the measurements for this cake are in my blog post. There's a link below. Better read it and make your mom a box of chocolates cake. I chose a deep, rich, purple fondant to make this box of chocolates. I just think it looks, you know, luxurious. Fact, mothers like luxurious gifts. You're just a wealth of mama knowledge. I know, but it's only been two and a half years. <laughs> Once all of my fondant is rolled, I chill it for a bit before we get to the fun part of covering this cake. I need to get into a bit of a DIY mode in order to construct this box of chocolates. And speaking of DIY, this video is a collab with the Sorry Girls. I didn't even realize they named themselves that because what do Canadians always say? Sorry. Sorry. So guys, head over to the Sorry Girls channel. There's a link in the description below and you can watch them make this watercolor apron for me because mama bakes, child. And they make a lovely watercolor recipe box and a set of ombre mixing spoons. Now I need to create the sides of my box, but I need to know how tall those sides need to be. So I rest one of my chocolates on top of my box cake and take the full measurement. I'm gonna start by applying a square of fondant that fits the top of my box cake because I want my chocolates to rest on beautiful purple fondant. I'm gonna apply fondant to two opposite sides of my box and put it in the fridge to chill before I trim them. Now I take out my box cake, trim the two sides that are already applied and apply the last two sides. Put it back in the fridge. I need to trim the final two sides of my box. Now I'm gonna cut a perfect square of fondant to fit the top of my lid. 
In order to make the sides of my lid, I measure the height of my lid and cut four equal strips that will be the sides of the lid. Did you use your ruler again? Yep! Now I'm gonna apply two of those fondant strips to two opposite sides of my lid and chill it. Then I take out my lid, trim the two sides that are already there, add the other two sides and put it back in the fridge. Trim the final two sides of my lid. I wasn't crazy about the seams on the top of the lid of my box. So I rolled out some of my leftover purple fondant, very, very thin, cut some thin strips and applied them to the top edge to give it a nice crisp look. It's more luxurious than it was before. Fact. An empty box is not a good Mother's Day gift. We need chocolates. If you wanna to learn to make these chocolates from scratch that are filled with all kinds of delicious things like cookie dough and chocolate cake and vanilla cake and Oreo cookies and there's one more. Strawberry oh, strawberry marshmallows. marshmallows. Fact, moms love marshmallows. You can watch me make them by clicking right here or there's a link in the description below. I should really test one. You should. I mean, it's for my mom. I think I should test one too for your mom. <laughs> That's so sweet of you, Jocelyn. Before filling this box with chocolates, I need to add a bow on top of my lid. I roll out gum paste and cut strips and form them into loops. And I do this over and over again until I have a lot of loops. I want to add a bit of color to my bow, so I roll out some nice emerald green fondant, nice and thin, and then I use a strip cutter to cut strips. I need this bow to be more luxurious than it is, so I'm going to take some emerald green luster dust and paint it over my green fondant strips. I'll now apply my green luster strips to each one of my bow loops. And you don't get luster dust on your hands and have to wash them constantly before you touch another white loop. That doesn't happen. Sure won't be shown in this video. Don't forget guys, I put time-lapse videos of all my cakes on my Facebook. Don't forget to follow me. People are still guessing how long it took. I love it. Before I assemble my bow, I roll out some more gum paste, cut four strips that are the same thickness as my bow loops, and lay them crisscross across the lid of my lid cake of my box cake. <laughs> Mom, I made you a lid cake. <laughs> Fact, mothers get confused. We're tired. And then I actually cut two tails and placed them, because a bow would have two tails, you know what I mean? I add the green strips to these as well. The lid of my box is ready for the bow. I'm gonna use some royal icing in a piping bag and I'm just gonna lay out the loops. So you wanna start with like a bottom circle, then fill in and just build up your bow. And remember to sort of turn some of the loops in different directions, it's more realistic. It's time for chocolate. That's what all this work was for and about chocolate. So I mixed up all the colors within the box in nice straight lines. I did use a bit of royal icing to glue the chocolates down. Just a touch. I need to place a few dowels into the cake so that the lid will just be floating. It will look like it's on top, but it can't touch those side panels of fun because they'll collapse. Don't forget guys, if you wanna make this wicked and adorable apron, <laughs> check out the Sorry Girls. There's a link in the description below. And make their recipe box and put my recipes in it. This collab is brilliant. Oh, tag, hi. My, how's my mother gonna know that this box of chocolates is for her? I've made a gum paste tag to match, and I'm just gonna write Happy Mother's Day, cause I mean it. I know I said this box of chocolates was for my mom, and it is, but I have to taste it first. My taste test shows how much I care. I need to make sure the cake tastes good, the ganache tastes good. I need to make sure that the lovely pink and soft mint buttercream look good. Only the best for my mom. I can now give this hacked up cake to my mom. <laughs> the tag is still there. And thanks again to Walgreens for sponsoring and collaborating on this video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook because next week I'll be taking part in the Red Nose Mother's Day Challenge. And you guys can too. I mean, who doesn't want this? I'm channeling my inner Whitney Houston. I wanna dance with somebody. Just tell me if this look is too much. I gotta get my angle right.
Do you think we'll get more subscribers if I wear this nose every episode?